Stasian wants us to believe that Nate can give his opinion as to the furnishings in their new home. Sounds like to me, Stasia, when Stasia wants Nate's opinion, she'll give it to him. Pretty much, because the way she has been side-eyeing him, everything that goes into that house is going to be her idea. Welcome to Cliff Alert. Today we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 15, episode number 15. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please click that notification button so you know when we upload new videos, and we appreciate your support. Thank you. So this episode begins with Nate and Stasia in the car returning back home from their couples retreat weekend the next morning mm -hmm. and they're in the bed and Nate had a complaint about Stasia. Yeah, and that was that his wifey was uh, kind of waking him up by hitting him in the cashews. I don't think that's how most guys want to be awakened. It's not? No. How would you like me to <laughs> wake you up? Yes or no? No. 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 Oh, hell no. I don't go on no way, brother. They don't want to get knocked in the can shoes, man. When they totally sleep. Well, I gotta, I gotta try that. Uh, Why? Wow. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> You look horrible. I was getting ready to say, man. <laughs> hey, you look... Let me reel it all the way. I, I, seriously, I won't do that. Okay, thank you. Appreciate this. They're gonna go over to the new house that Sasia had built. Right, which has to transition to a couple now. I mean, and that's um, from my understanding not what it was originally intended for because she had started building it before she went in to uh, or got involved in this process. Yeah, and it's a great thing when a woman buys her first home. I know I felt fantastic. Mm -hmm. You couldn't tell me <laughs> it, is, it is definitely a good it feeling. It is a fantastic time and I know for you yeah, as well. Yeah, it was a good feeling. So, and you want to decorate and you have ideas mm -hmm. how you want your space to mm -hmm. be laid out and yes. what have you. So I'm sure she wanted that opportunity, but she didn't consider that he is going to want to have some sort of input about how stuff is laid out and what happens. Well, I think... And that, that was her, her, her upset this week. Well, I think she was trying to uh, uh, take into consideration her status as newly married and trying to make adjustments accordingly. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I can't knock her for that. I can't, I can't, you know, fault her for that. I mean, she's trying to do, she's trying to at least make the attempt. Yeah, because it's difficult. I can't imagine, um, while we didn't know each other when we bought our houses, right, right. Um, I can't imagine you walking in and telling me, I could understand how, <laughs> like, she certainly wasn't considering him because he was nowhere in the picture. She was verbalizing it uh, audibly so he could hear it to let him uh, let him know no, that this is the way it's going to be. Back back. Right, this is the way it's going to be. Right, bro. that's exactly. It's already been decided. But he wasn't picking up what she was nah, laying down. No, nah, no. Nah. And he thought so that think, he could give an opinion, and it counted, but it didn't. Right, and they said that uh, Stasi uh, uh, is going to prioritize the the living space and all that. And he understood that, so he would give her. 50% of the choice. Right. Oh, hell. <laughs> Why did he say that? Those are that way. Those are fighting words. Uh, double take, boy. Wait a minute. Hold up, hubby. <laughs> you just Hold up. Here. Hold up. I just believe that Nate has not yet been exposed to a grown-ass woman and how she rolls. Yeah. Because if he did, he would have been wise enough not to say anything at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was Particularly since this is the first time she's going to the house, and she's now she now has to choose furnishings and and little tweaks that she likes. And she said she's into the the white, black, and gold. And grays, uh, yeah, grays too, right or no? Yeah. Okay. So. 
I don't know. It didn't work out well. Well, and the, he's gonna have a time on his hands. That house is gonna stay perfectly clean. You see, she was already OCDing him with leaving dishes in the sink hard, and the and the, hard. and the toilet needs to be clean. Asked the whether the 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 kids will have to deal with this situation, and she said, "Well, she's gonna manage them. She's gonna look." Add them, you know, they can't be writing on the walls and tearing her ish up. Translation, she ain't gonna have no rugrats or acting a fool. Exactly. She's gonna tighten them up she, when need be. Exactly, that's what she's absolutely saying to him. Stuff has value mm -hmm. and you can't, you know, tear stuff up. Right. But she gotta have a room for the kids Man. to run raggedy and just, it's not a problem. Can you imagine taking Because a babies gotta run around in a house that has white a white sofa and the walls are white Tearing up and it's it's going to be a happy place for them yeah can you imagine if in our generation we had gone up uh, going up uh, with the you know freedom if you will to draw a crayon and stuff on the wall no, that and was a, a that tear, was a up, tear up stuff and all that kind I, of thing i don't think it was well, even in my consciousness to write anything on the wall man it would have been like a Wile E. Coyote moment where my head would have been knocked off and then somebody else from the side out of frame would have been handing it back to me. <laughs> so, oh, but I, I just think she needs a room for the kids. She got to settle on that because kids are going to do what they do and they run, they touch, they feel, they you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you don't want a child who, who can't be comfortable in their own home. Yes. Who can't be creative, put stuff on the walls and what have you. Yeah, so, within parameters. Right. But she's going to, I can't see those walls staying white with babies in the house. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be I, hard. I, I that's imagine. what he was talking about. Right, right, right. So they go on a hike. She yeah. doesn't like a whole lot of outdoor stuff, but he likes hiking. Right, except, so she's going to acquiesce. He said it relaxes acquiesce. his mind. Yeah. And yeah. hiking does that. Yeah. So they're going, doing their thing, and at the end of the journey, he had something laid out that they make guacamole or something mm -hmm. like that. Avocados and lemons were involved. So. And I thought, yeah, and I thought, uh, in addition to that, they had some drinks, adult beverages More as well, but, I, uh, but I, I wasn't sure. I More than sure. likely. Yeah. But said to her that he believes that once they have children, all the fun will be gone out of their lives. Yeah, and I, I, I had a hard time understanding that part of it, but at the same time, you know, he, he went on to explain that, that, you know, he, you know, he's kind of nervous about, you know, heading into the process because he realized that there are changes that are coming, but he's not fearful of it. I think that maybe he was kind of um, projecting a little bit, having a, 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 a more well-rounded and or mature understanding of it, and not projecting out, you know. Because what Nate is going to have a problem with, he still has his mother in his mind. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, we saw a scene when they got back to the apartment and right. he was asking a lot of questions. Yeah, the what if questions, kids. because he was nervous. Because, you know, I'm yeah. not sure if he, he has resolved himself to having kids just yet. Yeah. And he was comparing um, his mother's, age when she got married and had a child, 23, he said his mother was, and so I said, I had to remind him she's 37 years old. Right, and you, you know, know and he, you got, he, and need to, he need to get that ghost out of his head right, but, and, and live his life now with, his, with Stasia rather than thinking about how his father and his mother dealt with each other and that she left him and abandoned exactly. him. Exactly, and the mother that he really didn't see but uh, beyond one time, but, right. you know, um, you know that when how you know he was able to kind of deal with that and not bring that forward to his situation with Stasi. Right, his current he wife. needs to, yeah. to put that aside. Right, and, and, I, and I'm not and saying not be in the moment, in the be moment. in the now, right. based on what happened to him in the past. Right, two different scenarios. So Nate goes um, to the gym with Justin. Yeah, and, and then lifting yeah. weights and and talking about the relationships and Justin mentioned to him that he wanted um affirmation from Alexis. He is upset that you know he may have given away Maya and she still is not sure about him. Yeah, yeah. And the flip side of that of that uh, meeting between the fellows was a meeting uh, between the wifeys. Um, Alexis and Stasia were t also talking about the 
shopping trip that uh, they went that on. they went on and all and all that and you know Sasi I, I believe was uh, kind of mentioning that uh, your taste is a little different yes and, yeah and, and, all, and but that she's going to do her best to kind of accommodate him based on you know based on the fact that he is hubby now and he has a say end of it right we had a slightly different taste with furniture with because, furniture yeah, yeah we yeah, had to yeah. merge we had to merge it yeah but yeah. to buy the new stuff yeah the appliances it was and stuff. like it was like oh no <laughs> no 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 this, no no this, no no this no. dude don't know what he's talking about i'm like what the hell is she looking at we worked it out, we worked it out didn't yeah, we man. Right, and right. every now and then he'll come through the house and something that was there is gone uh, 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 Y'all, and uh, uh, probably some of the fellas know what I'm talking about. Stuff has a way of developing legs and just walking on out I while you're gone. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how it happened either. We need to figure that and out. I think there are a couple things that were said uh, uh, by Nate that need mentioning here. Okay, go ahead. Um, that was what that he kind of, uh, as he was kind of listening to um, uh, Justin recount, you know, the situation regarding the dog and all that. I don't know whether it was just impromptu or whether he, he had planned to say that anyway, but uh, Nate kind of went in on Alexis. Yeah, Nate doesn't like Alexis. Yeah. He, he he didn't like how she intruded in uh, Morgan and, and Ben's, Ben's relationship. Right. In fact, she blames her for mm -hmm. them you know, going their separate ways. Mm -hmm. And he always thought that she was a, a, a snitch and a gossip mm -hmm. and he's not rolling for that. Right. So he called he, he, called, called, he called her, her a, a liar mm -hmm. and he also said she can't be trusted. Right, right. That's pretty strong words, you know. She probably heard what Nate's been talking right. about. Her. Right. I believe that th this couple is probably gonna stay together if they work out their issues. I think Nate is going to come on board with the house as well as the babies um, and recognize that having babies is a lot of fun. New people who look like you running around and tearing up stuff and the joy you have as you see them grow and mature. You see them with their friends and how they make decisions. Some of them are knuckleheads. Some of them you got to... Little boys. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of joy in being a parent and I, I hope he is able to experience that and put that thing that is he with his mom behind him because that's abandoning him is all about her that's what she chose to do and he has a life now with some babies running around and and that's great I think that he has got to just uh calm uh, the concerns in his mind and just say hey look you've got um a wife that has has really uh you know been you know compatible with you you guys have were uh, had to work out some issues based on how you guys ended the process but you guys are turning that corner now and that hey look um, there are things that you guys want to do within the next couple of years and then starting a family is one of those things and embrace the process just like you embrace this you know uh, this this process of how you met Stasia. Um, Nate has got to understand that he's entering a new phase of life with a new wife and eventually that you guys are going to start a family and it's going to be okay. It's all going to work out. Absolutely. So that's all we have. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Thank you for um, taking time to watch this uh, episode with us and we wish Nate and Stacia the best. Keep them comments rolling. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Yeah.